In this lesson, we'll cover calculating your true airspeed when given a flight level, a Mach number, and an ISA deviation. These are the three things you'll always need to calculate a TAS. Calculating TASs are one of the most important things to do quickly and accurately. There's a few different methods out there for doing it, but the method I'll show you here is going to be the quickest and the most accurate. The actual calculation for TAS is a little bit scientific, and we're not going to go into why the calculation works, but I will explain what numbers we input that will change from question to question. Essentially what we'll be doing will be calculating a temperature for a given altitude, accounting for ISO deviation, converting it to a different temperature scale, and then working out the speed of sound. It all sounds a little bit confusing, but it's actually pretty easy, and after a few practice questions, you'll be all over it. Let's begin. In the first example, we have flight level 330, an ISO deviation of plus 10, and we want to find the true airspeed for a Mach number of 0.8. Now your calculator might be slightly different, but the process is still the same. We'll start by going 1.98 multiplied by the flight level 33. This is to account for the temperature decrease up to 33,000 feet. We'll then subtract 288. This number is a combination of 15 degrees at sea level, as well as a conversion from Celsius to Kelvin, which is 273. Because this results in a negative number, when we account for ISA deviation, we need to do the opposite of the deviation. So for example, if it's an ISA plus day, we'd subtract it. If it's an ISA minus day, we'd add it. In this case, we're ISA plus 10, so we'd subtract 10. Once we do this, we can do what I call the flow. We go plus minus, square root, multiply by 39. When you hit equals, the number you see here is the speed of sound, so that's Mach 1. From here, we can just simply multiply by the Mach number we're looking for. In this case, we'll multiply by 0 0.8. Here you can see the TAS is 476. Now you may hear that you need to subtract one from this number, but that's not actually required. This number rounded to the nearest whole number is fine for the exam. Let's try another one. We say we're at flow of 350, the ISO deviation is minus six, and we're looking for the TAS at mark 0.8. We'll go 1.98 multiplied by 35. We'll subtract 288. And because it's ISA minus six, we're gonna be adding six to this number. Now we can do the flow. We'll go equals plus minus square root multiplied by 39. The number, once you hit equals, will be the speed of sound. And we're looking for the TAS at 0.8, so we'll go times 0.8. This number here is gonna be your true airspeed, flow of 350, ISA minus six, and at mark 0.8. Go into your textbook now and have a try a few of these and just make sure you're comfortable. This is a very, very important thing to do. You'll be using it on pretty much every question in the exam.